Now that we've discussed the biology of nosema, let's talk about some of the symptoms associated with the disease and how to diagnose it accurately. First, the symptoms. You must remember that nosema is a gut disease. And typically, diseases such as this build up to significant levels when there's a large population confined to a single area. The time of year that that most occurs for honeybees is fall and winter. Consequently, nosema tends to be a worse problem in late winter, simply because the bees have been trapped in the box all winter, they've been able to come out and defecate, so the disease is built up to levels that are not tolerable for the bees anymore. So how does this manifest according to their symptoms? Now, it's quite simple. There are really three symptoms associated with nosema disease. First, you'll see bees wandering on the ground outside of the colony. Now, this symptom also occurs with a number of other bee diseases, so it's not a true indicator of nosema, but it is certainly something that happens to the bees once they have a nosema buildup. Secondly, bees with high nosema spore counts in their body will exhibit what we call K-wing. Now, K-wing is where the forewing and the hind wing of the bee come unhooked, and they're displayed like the letter K of a bee. Now again, although this symptom is associated with nosema, it's not unique to nosema. Tracheal mites, for example, can cause K-wing in bees. So bees on the ground, K-wing, both come with nosema, but they're not unique to nosema. The third symptom tends to show up more in nosema colonies almost exclusively, and it is fecal staining on the front of the colony. Now, if you remember, nosema is building up in the bee system during winter as bees are unable to come out and void their feces. So what happens is on the first warm day, usually associated with early spring or late winter, the bees will leave the colony to defecate, and the moment they come outside, they'll defecate, which will result in fecal stains or streaks up and down the front of the colony. And this is typically uh, yellowish or brown or slight orangish color. Finally, another nosema symptom has to do with a slow spring buildup. When the spring is coming on, it's warm outside, the bees are simply not able to grow to the levels that they need to be. Despite these symptoms, it's not 100% accurate to say that you have nosema even if you have all these symptoms. The only way to truly diagnose nosema is to collect a sample of bees, put them in isopropyl or rubbing alcohol, and send them to your county agent or your state apiculturist who will do dissections to determine if you have spores present in your bees. When you're collecting bees to send, it's important to get bees that are older because these are the ones that are most likely to have large spore counts. So I recommend collecting bees from the ground in front of the colony or collecting bees from the frames on the periphery of the nest where older bees typically hang out. Do these things, send it to your local county agent, and we'll teach you next how to diagnose the problem.